I'm Chris Shellack. I'm farm manager here at Tuckwell Farms. We're based in the heart of Suffolk, farming roughly 1,800 acres. Cropping comprises of uh, wheat, all seed rape, and more recently, parsley and maize. And we employ five staff, two full-time and three part-time. We started our precision farming journey about 15 years ago where we uh, introduced uh, section control onto the farm for the sprayer. Uh, alongside uh, machinery guidance um, and also some, some variable rate nutrient applications um, and today uh, we, we have just uh, invested in uh, exact apply. So the main drivers for us really were um, rising input costs so we needed to make sure that we had you know full control of that and you know we we're only applying um, inputs as and where they were needed and as accurately as, as, as we could. Um, so, you know, um, section control is a great example of that, you know, we're, we're reducing overlap um, and ultimately reducing um, overall costs by quite a considerable amount. But when we started looking at um, variable rate seeding and, and, and nutrient application, you know, that was just a sort of natural progression on, you know, in terms of application and um, controlling costs basically, so we are put every product where it needed to go um, at the you know the correct rate. So here at um, at Tuckwell Farms, we're we're, we're quite um, you know we're quite fortunate. Our, our soil type is quite consistent here. Um, so we're predominantly sandy clay loams. Um, we do have some lighter areas on the farm, but um, you know a lot of a lot of the um, the areas are quite consistent. But that doesn't mean to say that we don't have um, you know targeted issues within fields, so that may be um, drainage issues. Um, historically we've grown a lot of oilseed rape on the farm, so we do have um, quite bad slug problems. And, and we can identify all these problems through the, through the yield maps, uh, through the op centre, um, and that gives us a great insight into you know, what we may need to do with precision ag um, technology or variable rate technology to sort of overcome these, these issues. One of the biggest challenges, I guess, um, in the early days is, is sort of staff um, uptake of technology. Or well, some would take it up easy. Um, you know, some some needed, um, you know, hand holding a little bit more, which is fine. Um, but in the early days, we didn't have things like remote display access, where I could give them help from the office. Um, it meant uh, back and forth to the field quite a lot, um, which uh, you know is, is fine. But it meant you know, a lot of my time was taken up. Necessarily you know, driving back and forth to fields. But today, you know, life is, is a lot easier purely because um, you know the technology on farm is more sort of commonplace. I guess um, the younger generation, which are coming onto the farm, um, it come, becomes a lot more natural to them. Um, but for me, uh, I can I can control or I can see what's going on from my phone via the operations center, you know, the phone app. Or if I'm in the office, um, you know, I can dial into the screen, and um, you know, usually a problem is solved in minutes as opposed to hours. Seeding applications, I guess, for me, comes with a lot of sort of historical knowledge of the fields. Um, you know, we we do we have had our field scans, so we we know what soil types are where, but that doesn't always. Um, you know, give us the clearest of picture where we where we may have a problem on a field. So, um, for instance, um, we have some fields which um, you know historically are bad for slugs, um, and I know that through my knowledge. But a uh, soil scanner can't necessarily tell me where slugs are on field. Um, so I'll use that when creating a, um, a variable rate seeding map, and if an area needs uh, you know increasing, um, probably edit maps myself um, based on my knowledge of a field as opposed to you know what a, what a software program is telling me what to do um, so I think yeah that, um, my own knowledge and historical knowledge is really important when um, you know creating variable rate seeding maps. One of the tools I would use in the ops centre is, is something as simple as a yield map um, it's usually quite telling as to um, what's happening in a field whether there's an issue um, and once I've identified what that issue may be in a field, um, I can then use these yield maps through the um, Agrion um, prescription generator um, to create a, a variable rate seed map. Um, it's really simple um, 
quite seamless to use. We can alter the areas, edit any area we want to, have as many zones within a field as we, we want to. Um, and it's, you know, the most seamless thing is getting it out, out to the machine then. Um, so there's no USB sticks, there's, um, if there's no back and forth to a field, it's wirelessly transferred and that's what I love about it, it saves me time um, and it's free. So some of the agronomic challenges that we've got um, and, and why we would use a variable rate technology, um, you know, may, maybe because we've got um, you know, grass weeds on the field, so um, in particular back grass. Um, we use a, a quite a vigorous variety um, in those situations which you know, outcompetes um, but where we know we've got back grass issues where we've identified that on a, on a, um, on a field then we can increase those, those seed rates to sort of outcompete that back grass and that's where another area where variable rate seeding comes into its own. As well as the operations centre, we, we currently use two other software platforms, so the uh, Omnia um, Precision Ag platform, um, which we, we use um, for our um, other variable rate applications, uh, and we also use the Gatekeeper platform as well for our, our cost management. Um, both have a, an API through to the uh, operations centre, which, which means that there's, there's real seamless data transfer basically to, to our machines or to the op centre. You know, it, it all adds to the, the, the time-saving capability of, of, of the op centre. Most farms now are collecting data on farm um, and, and not doing anything with it. So, you know, they've probably already taken the first step to, you know, precision ag farming and collecting data. It's, it's, it's what they then do with that data. And I think, you know, a lot of people are perhaps a little bit scared of technology. But um, and not willing to to start investing money, in, you know, physical money into into technology, and that's why I would suggest you know start using the operations centre, which is free. You can analyse your data, and then decide whether you actually want to do something with it. You can see those variations in your data, and you can see there's an opportunity to to make some cost savings. Well, actually, you can do all that for free. And you don't need to to invest in technology before you do that. Um, so my, my advice would be, you know, um, speak to your local dealer and get, get the operations centre up and running for yourself and, and, um, and go from there. I think looking to the future, uh, we're looking at, um, you know, introducing potentially drivers, tractors to the farm. Um, we know that's uh, not in the too distant future. Uh, I think also, you know, we're just... A, just Produced Exactify as well on the farm, so that's now um, taking the application, precision application, to the next level.